Listen, the narrow path is going to be hard to walk. But we as souls walk in this earth and those who believe in the Most High God, we have to keep striving. We have to keep believing no matter what. And we do believe that God sent his son, Jesus Christ on this earth to become our salvation, to be our salvation. And it's him that is our hope. So we gotta keep putting our trust in him. We have to keep our minds focused on him. And we can't do it alone. I can't even do it alone. So we have to rely on him. I remember a few days ago, I spoke on this saying that, you know, our strength is not even our own. You understand? So we have to ask God each day to give us strength in order to keep going, even in our time of weakness. And it's usually in the weakest moments in our life that God, he will pour out his strength upon us so we could keep going. And remember in the word of the Lord, when uh, his disciples were in that storm, they were caught up in that battle of doubt. They were caught up in that battle of fear. But Jesus was right there in the midst of them, right there in the middle of the storm, in the middle of the ocean, winds coming around them like tornadoes, you know. But he, he, he gently spoke to them, spoke to them with a calm voice. And, you know, so that reminds me of when we slip in that storm, when we slip under beneath the surface of the water, God is holding out his hand to us right now and, 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 and giving us the chance to grab onto him so he could pull us out of the storm. And it's in that, in that moment that we have a chance to keep moving on in our lives. So I just wanted to leave this message with you. Yes, the path is going to be narrow. Narrow is the way to life. The narrow path is the way to life. The broad way is the way to destruction. We see the things in this world and most of the things in the media right now is um, walking on that broad path. You know, only a few are chosen and are going to make it on this narrow path. So, you know, just let the Holy Spirit continue to guide you and us so we can keep going. And the minute doubt creeps up in your mind, ask the Lord to have him remove that doubt and fear because that's the only way we're going to make it. That's the only way we are going to make it. So we have to keep on having courage. We have to be strong as lions, especially in this time that we are in. You know, we see the things that we're facing in this world and don't let the, don't never let the material things of this world persuade you or put you in the wrong direction. You know, don't let the fancy cars and all the money and stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff that you see all this material stuff is going to pass away one day. It's going to pass away. God is going to come down and, 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 and get rid of all that stuff. What we need to do right now is invest in things that's going to pursue our soul, to pursue our mind. When we leave this world, when I leave my body, when you leave your body, when we all leave our body, our fleshly temple, even that is going to fade away. And what we have left is our spirit and our soul. And that's going to determine, you know, the life that we live right now is going to determine whether or not we make it with God or we don't. But whether we make it in hell or whether we make it in heaven. I don't know about you, but I'm striving to make it in heaven. Not only to make it in heaven, but to make it in my Father's heart. You know, so I pray that the Lord will give you the drive to go on and live life and don't live try not to live life by yourself and i know there's going to be times when you feel alone but the lord is with you the lord is with all of us i remember even when jesus was on the cross he was feeling alone i can't even i can't even imagine the burdens he felt 
You know, if we go back to his timeline of his death and resurrection, we've seen how heavy his spirit was when he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. You know, I believe my Christ was crying blood because he just had been betrayed. But he never stopped. He never quit it. He kept on walking, he kept striving, and he, and he accomplished the will of his Father. And that's the greatest example of all time that's been given to us. So yes, the path is narrow, but rejoice, rejoice, and count it all, count it all joy. So I just wanted to leave this with you. Share this video everywhere, because this message needs to go out. Yes, the path is going to be narrow, but it's going to be worth it to walk on. Because at the end of that journey, at the end of the narrow path, there's going to be a great re reward from our Father in Heaven. So this is Rob John, and I hope that you will receive this message. Thank you for listening. I leave the my social media platforms where you can follow me. At the end, of, at, at the end of this video here, you guys take care, stay strong.